Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and welcome to the new Command Center. That's what we're going to call it. Well, as you all noticed that I haven't been online uh, in a few weeks, I haven't posted any videos. Uh, we have been moving, and um, once we moved, then I had technical issues with computers, so finally got that resolved yesterday. And here I am. Boy, there's a lot that has been happening. Follow me on this one. Over the last few weeks, you know, you've had all kinds of things going on. Um, some of the stuff I'm not going to talk about, but we all know what it is as far as um, what's been going on in this country in a lot of different states. And we're not even talking about the Charlie Victor 19. Um, in a lot of our states, uh, down here in Florida, Charlie Victor 19 is coming back with a vengeance. Now, you know, they keep saying we have nothing to worry about because it's in a younger generation. Uh, yeah, okay, if you believe that one. Because they can all just take it and spread it right back, but, you know, common sense is just not there anymore. Uh, there's a lot of different things that have been happening as far as what has been taking place uh, with the governments, um, between the governments of your local, your state, and the federal. Uh, it seems like they're all um, kind of like uh, bickering back and forth because uh, there is no real decision on what is going on and no really uh, guidance on anything else as if nobody has noticed. And if you have any comments on, you know, any of this stuff that has been going on with the Charlie Victor 19 or maybe um, all the other things that have been going on, uh, put your comments down below in the comment section. But we also have to pay attention to, uh, I just noticed on the news last night, they're talking about a tropical system that could be developing right off the coast of uh, North Carolina, up in that area, and heading up towards the Northeast. Now, do I think this will be another Irene or Sandy or something like that? No, but people need to be prepared, especially if you live in like low-lying areas, or if you do get flooding, because they're talking this could bring a lot of heavy rain to uh, parts of uh, New York, right up through into the Northeast, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, uh, that area. Um, but, you know, just pay attention to your weather forecasts. And like I said, if you do live in a low-lying area, it's probably something you really want to pay close attention to just in case you do need to evacuate beforehand. Uh, we don't want to go through another situation like before. Now, I'm going to be starting putting out videos and stuff. Um, I'm not sure on what days those are going to start coming out. I've had to change my whole routine and everything. And, um, but they will be coming out at 6 in the morning. I'm going to have them come out every morning at 6, so everybody has all day long, uh, you know, people work and everything else, you can catch the videos later in the day. Uh, that's typically what I do uh, with uh, some of the folks that I do follow. This way here, you know, everybody can, uh, uh, you know, get a chance to see them. Um, one thing I want to reiterate, you know, we are into hurricane season, you want to make sure that you have your preps ready. You want to make sure that uh, if you're trying to stock up on certain items, they're still limited in the stores. A lot of the store shelves, at least in my state, I'm sure in the states that the Charlie Victor 19 has come back with a vengeance. It is more than likely uh, you're going to start running into more shortages and everything else than some of the other states have. You know, this is a state by state type deal. Uh, down here, cleaning supplies and stuff, once again, is off the shelves. A lot of the canned goods sections, they put, uh, they took limitations off, uh, at least in my area, and now they're starting to put the limitations back on because the shelves are emptying out because with the way that Charlie Victor 19 is uh, really ramping up here in Florida, 
Uh, they're afraid that we're going to be the next New York and everybody's like freaking out this time. So they're like ramsacking the stores and buying whatever they can get their hands on. So if you do live in a state where the cases are starting to ramp up, maybe a good idea to take a, a good inventory of your supplies, see what you need and see what you can get. Uh, you may have to substitute on some things, uh, but it's better to substitute and get something than have nothing. Um, then you throw, you know, hurricane season in, they just amped up that uh, by one storm, which was just kind of ridiculous. But I guess everybody has to uh, um, cover your ass if you want to put it that way. Uh, they want to make sure that they're right in their predictions, especially with all these satellites that they're putting up in the skies nowadays to uh, supposedly monitor everything that is going on when they're probably monitoring everything that we're doing and where we're going. But that's for another video. So, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Welcome to the new Command Center. And until next time, I will catch you all on the flip side.